Learn how to start your own successful online boutique business. Plus I will give you some important tips you don't want to miss as a new business owner. So make sure to pay attention, take notes, and watch this video to the end because today I will be dropping all of the gems. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do when creating your online boutique is to make sure that you pick a profitable product. A lot of people will tell you that you need to start with your brand. While branding is important, I think it's even more important to find a product that is actually going to sell. The key is to choose a product that solves a problem. People will buy products that they like, but they are way more likely to buy a product that solves a problem they may have. For example, let's say you want to sell pretty dresses. Obviously, this is a very saturated product to sell. So, what can you offer that will set you apart from everyone else? One common problem women have with wearing dresses is that they feel uncomfortable. They feel that dresses do not fit flattering around their midsection and back areas, this is an opportunity for you to solve a problem. For instance, you can market that your dresses are designed to fit comfortably and accentuate your body. Thus making the waist appear slimmer and more flattering. Having a product that sets you apart from everyone else is also called your USP, which stands for Unique Selling Point or Proposition. Take a moment to brainstorm and think about what your unique selling position can be. Now, after you have decided on what product you're going to sell, this is when I would start thinking about your branding. This is the perfect time to start thinking about your business name. Remember, you do want to pick a name that stands out and is memorable, but you also want it to be simple enough that people will remember. I would also think about choosing a business name that is easy to spell. Usually your business name will be the same as the domain name that you choose for your website. You want to make sure that when people are searching for your brand online that it's not too difficult to find your business. This leads me to the next step, which is claiming your domain name and social media handles. Once you have decided on your business name it is important to claim your domain name as soon as possible so that no one else claims it. Usually you can purchase your domain name at the same time you are setting up your website. We will talk more in depth about setting up your online store a little later. You also want to do a search on all social media platforms such as TikTok Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, even YouTube to make sure that your brand name has not already been taken. Another place you want to do a search on is the USPTO.gov website. This is to make sure that someone hasn't already trademarked your brand name. The next thing you want to do is choose your brand colors. Something a lot of people don't know is that the brand colors that you choose have a lot to do with the psychology behind how people will feel about the brand. For instance, warm colors like red, orange, and yellow are associated with energy, passion, and excitement. Cool colors like blue, green, and purple symbolize calmness, trust, and stability. This is why you want to put some thought into the actual colors that you choose for your brand. If you would like me to create an entire video, dedicated to teaching you how to brand your boutique business, then leave me a message in the comments below. There will also be a link to a free boutique business checklist that will guide you through each step of the process to launching your online boutique. For those of you that are not familiar with Canva, it is a beginner-friendly designing program that allows you to easily create professional-looking logos, social media graphics, documents, PowerPoint presentations, and so much more. The best part is that it is absolutely free. They do have a paid subscription, but you can do so much even with their free version. I am not getting paid to promote Canva. I literally use Canva to create most of the graphics used for this business, so check it out if you haven't. Another option would be to hire a graphic designer to create a custom logo for you. Some affordable places you can get a logo designed would be on freelancing websites like Fiverr or Upwork.com. I would recommend that you read through the reviews thoroughly and ask the graphic designer if they have a portfolio of their previous work before placing your order. The next step is crucial, which is sourcing products for your online boutique. There are lots of ways to find wholesale vendors and suppliers for your business, but the hard part is knowing which ones are not a scam. I always say if you have access to local wholesale suppliers, this is always a good option because there's nothing like being able to touch and feel the quality of the inventory for yourself. To find local vendors in your area you can do a Google search. Simply type, wholesale clothing vendors near me, or replace clothing with whatever type of products you are searching for. Next you can look on online directories like Alibaba and DHgate. These websites host thousands of overseas vendors that will give you access to a lot of affordable wholesale clothing. However, not every vendor on this platform is trustworthy. 
that is why it is so important to always read the reviews and place a sample order before investing in large amounts of inventory. You can also purchase wholesale vendor lists. Vendor lists give you instant access to vendors and suppliers that offer wholesale products at an affordable price. I will leave a link to some of the different lists that are available in the description below if you are interested. The next important step to starting your online boutique is to make sure that you have some place to store your inventory. If you have a small area, then you need to take this into consideration when determining how much inventory that you can purchase at a time. This is also a good time to think about renting a storage space or someplace with extra room if your budget allows for it. Remember it's always better to start small and grow big. When you can, order small quantities. This allows you to make sure that your customers will actually buy the products you purchased. You don't want to invest large amounts of money on inventory that doesn't sell. Now it is time to build your website. There are lots of different platforms where you can create your website, but my favorite is Shopify. This is because their platform was actually created for e-commerce stores. That means that as your business continues to grow, they have a lot of additional plugins that you can add to your shop for increased functionality that you will want once you start to make more sales. There is a small learning curve but that their platform is very user-friendly, even if you have never created your own website before. They also integrate with all of the social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and now even YouTube. I will leave a link below if you want to start a free trial to see if Shopify works for your business, you will also get your first 3 months for just $1 a month. Now let's jump into one of the most important parts of owning a business. The marketing. Now that you have put in all that hard work building your business, it's time to promote it because if no one knows about your online boutique then don't expect to make sales. One of the best places to market your online business for free is on social media. TikTok Shop is one of the top social media platforms to sell your products, especially if you are a new business owner. If you are not familiar, TikTok Shop is a cool new feature introduced by TikTok. Essentially, it allows users to explore and purchase products directly from within the app. So, if you're scrolling through your favorite TikTok videos and spot something you like, you can now buy it with just a few taps. And the best part is TikTok Shop can easily connect to your Shopify store. This enables you to showcase your products to millions of TikTok users while driving traffic to your online store and boosting sales for your online boutique. Instagram is still a great platform for online boutique owners to advertise products. The key to marketing on Instagram is to focus on creating engaging real videos that show your items in action. You want to sell without being too pushy by educating your customers about your products. This will help them with deciding to purchase from your boutique. Lastly, I want to say that a lot of people talk about how their business blew up fast, but the reality is that it takes time to build a successful business and everybody's path to success is not the same. So, make sure to enjoy your journey, realize that it's okay, to make mistakes, and don't give up on your dream of owning a boutique. When times get tough, think of ways you can improve and get better. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe because we will be releasing more tips to help you grow a profitable boutique business. See you in the next video.